everyone, it's Brian Pinsky from bestattractionmarketingtips.info and today I'm shooting this quick how-to video on adding a Google Calendar reminder button to your website. Uh, you can see the reminder button right here uh, and this is on my blog and you can use this basically for any, any type of event that you're going to have and you want people to be able to quickly add it to their calendar. Uh, this will boom and I'll show you in a minute it will pop it right up into the calendar and they just have to click save and it's 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 there for them to remember so uh, this is just a quick thing I threw together this is nothing that I'm holding but uh, you could use it for offline stuff online stuff you name it any event that you're having and you want people to remember it you can add this to it so I just did a quick uh, page here that shows uh, if I was going to maybe print up some flyers for an offline or even have uh, on my website send it to people that they can see I'm having an offline presentation. Uh, just designed a quick little thing, the name of it, you know, put it at the location, uh, the date, the time, and then put a little bit of bullet points about, you know, what, what they'll learn at the presentation. And then you can see add the date to your calendar, and this button then is, uh, becomes live, they click on it and it will open to your calendar. So one of the first things that you want to do is obviously in your website, you can see I uh, did the presentation, the layout here, and then on where you're going to make the actual calendar reminder button, you want to add a little bit of this info from here to that, to the info on the, the event. So I just, you know, copied, copied that, and then this is the site. I'm going to put the link below the video so you'll have easy access to it, but it's uh, google.com forward slash google calendar forward slash event underscore publisher underscore guide dot html and basically come to this page and you can do a couple different things you can actually tells you how you can uh, display a calendar on your site you can make up a special calendar just for your business presentations or whatever you want and uh, embed it tells you how to embed that on your site but we're going down here to uh, let people save an indi individual event from your site so you go in here, and I already had it filled out, but it would fill in, you know, what what the event is, uh, when, put the date, the year, month, date, the time. Uh, if you don't know, mi that's military time basically. And a quick way to figure that out is you take any number and you subtract two from it. So basically, 20 minus two is 18, and then you just on the double digits you knock off the one. So that would make 20 hundred hours is is 8 p.m. Um, obviously when you're down in the lower numbers 04, 5, that's 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, you know, in the morning and then uh, 12 o'clock, 13 would be 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 on, 4 o'clock and so on. Uh, and then put your end time, uh, don't forget to put the date uh, or you can click if it's an all day event. Uh, then you obviously want to put, you have to definitely have these two at least to, for the, the button to work. Then you want to put your location where you're going to hold the event, whether it's online or at a local establishment. And then here, this is where I copied from uh, the the post I was doing. I just put in a couple bullet points of uh, what you can learn, and this will appear on their reminder. It will be the info on the reminder. Uh, then you can click it, show as available, busy. That that's up to you. You can add guests. Uh, then basically, you want to choose your button, whichever one you want. You know, plain Google Calendar, uh, remind me with Google Calendar, or add to Google Calendar. Uh, and then you want to enter whatever website uh, you may be putting uh, this the button onto. Put the name of the website and then the address. And then you just click on the Create HTML button, and the button will appear here. And this is the code that you're going to copy. And then you can actually uh, test it out, see that it's going to work. You click on that, and boom, right there. Opens it up, ready to save it into your Google Calendar. You got the date, the time, 8 to 9 where it's at, you know, the name of the presentation, where it's at, and then uh, here's the description from the info. And then, you know, they can add and check uh, any reminders they want to do. It's usually defaulted to a, a pop-up. Shows all that. And then they can just click Save, and now that event is saved into their Google Calendar. So, again, go back to here once you've made this up, and then you just want to go in, click, click Copy the whole thing, and then you go back to your website and I had already made this up but what I will do quickly is I'm going to quickly erase it and show you how to uh, how to do this 
So you have uh, on your website where you're making the web page for the whatever event that you're hosting and you want to add the button to. Uh, you can go, do your design, and then a quick little trick to, because you have to paste it into the HTML side, this is on WordPress. Um, I want to center it, and then to be able to find it on the HTML side to make it easy is I'll just put a, a word that I'm going to recognize. So I'll put a button. Alright, so I go over here, you scroll down through all of the other HTML, and you can see right here the word button. So that's where I want to place the button, so I highlight that and paste in the HTML code I copied from the other site. Now if you go over to the visual and come back here, you can see that it is, uh, there's the button, it's all set. Now the button comes out at one size, uh, and on WordPress you can if you want to change the size. I wouldn't change it too big because I tried it and it looks out all out of focus because that's the maximum size they have it. But you would come here, you click on the edit, actually let me go back show you. Highlight, click on the picture, that deletes it, or this the picture edits the image. Then you want to go to the advanced settings, and I think I went with, that's the, the basic site. I tried doubling it and it just looked too blurry, so I think I went with 175 and then uh, doubled that size, 70. You can pick whatever, you can play around with it, uh, and then click update, and then it moves it back to the left for some reason, so just click it, highlight it again, and click center, and there you have your button. Uh, and then you, know, you want to save draft, obviously name your, your page. Alright, it's saved, and we want to click on preview, and the page will pop up. So here's your page with your information, everything going, come learn, and add a little thing, add date to the calendar, and again, they click on this button, and it's going to pop right up into their Google Calendar, and it's ready to go. Again, date, time, event name, where, all the good stuff, and they click on save, and then boom, I'll just show you, boom. Actually, I did it for the 25th, which is next 28th. There we go. Business presentation. And they can see, you know, they can edit, edit the event details. So that's a uh, quick way that you can add a Google button or a Google Calendar button reminder to your website. Um, go now to the video below. I'm going to make it a separate video. I'm going to show you a way that you can actually use this Google button basically with a QR code and make it into offline marketing method where you print out the QR code on a flyer and excuse me people can scan it with their so cell phone and it will add the reminder it will bring them to the page where they can add the reminder on their cell phone. Uh, again this is Brian Pinsky from Best Traction Marketing Tips info and I hope you enjoyed the information here. If you ever have any questions, get in touch with me. All the different links are on the website. Email me, call me, find me on Facebook. I can help you out with anything you need. Everybody have a great one.